George, cutest little monkey. Here he comes, he's always on the go. Curious George, the curious little monkey. Where's he going? We'd all like to know. Curious George at the bakery. George was late for breakfast. You ought to have a good time at school today, George. Your class is going to the bakery. Now you'll find out where that toast came from. George grabbed his books and off he went to catch the school bus. Soon George and his classmates were on their way to the bakery. Welcome, said a big man in a white coat. I am the foreman. I make sure that everything in the factory is running smoothly. Just follow me and don't get lost. All the machines were humming and buzzing. Mmm, the bread smelled fresh and sweet. They came to a room where there was a machine that cut the fresh loaves into slices. Do you see the clock on the wall, asked the foreman. When the big hand and the little hand come together at the top, it will be noontime. And all the machines will stop automatically, and all the people who work here will go and have lunch. While the children were listening to the foreman, George wandered off. There was a door slightly open. Inside, a baker in a white t-shirt was making pretzel. He took some dough from a pan, rolled it into a long strip, and then folded the strip back and forth into a pretzel. After the pretzel was made, it passed under a salting machine. The baker pushed a long red lever, and down came the salt. George was curious. While the baker was putting a tray of pretzels in the oven, he leaped up on the table, took some dough, and rolled it into a strip. Then he tried to fold it with all four hands. Now George was all wrapped up in the dough. He tried to fight his way out, but instead fell right on top of the big red lever. George had started the salting machine. Salt poured all over the pretzels and onto the floor. So much salt that it spread through the door right into the hall. The foreman ran into the room. There is salt all over the fresh bread, he shouted. Who started the salting machine? The baker came running and pulled back the red lever to stop the salt. It was time for George to get away. He saw a big basket full of bread right near the factory clock. Nice place to hide in. Let's get on with the tour, the foreman said to the children. Watch your step, the man said. From here, you can see the machine working. Just then, one of the boys on the tour reached into his pocket to get his handkerchief. Something fell out. It was his pen knife. It bounced off the edge of the metal floor and landed on a fresh loaf of bread that was moving toward the slicing machine. Oh, my, cried the foreman. If that knife gets caught in the slicer, the machine might break. There's no one near the machine to stop him. George heard the commotion and came out of hiding. How could he stop the slicing machine? He looked up at the factory clock. The little hand was up, but the big hand was still far away. How good that George was a monkey. He leaped over to the clock, held on the little hand, and with his foot grabbed the big hand. Then, very quickly, he pulled the two hands together. And all the machines in the factory stopped. Hooray, shouted the foreman. The loaf of bread with the pan knife on it had stopped right in front of the slicing machine. George, said the foreman, what a clever monkey you are. You saved the slicing machine and your classmate's knife. For that, you deserve a good lunch. In the lunchroom, they all had sandwiches made out of the freshly baked bread. The foreman gave George a whole bag of warm pretzels with lots of salt on them. Then, George and his classmates went back home. 